Hi guys, it's Miss Cabrera. Uh, this is your video for Monday, September 14th. So um, you're going to be hearing today, I think I have my copy, um, part of this book. This book is called Pat's Mess. So we're gonna talk about this book a little bit. You guys are gonna do some reading. We're gonna find out some information about Pat in the book. So make sure you are ready to listen during the video. Make sure your mouth is quiet and you have your best listening ears on. Welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to be setting purpose moving from our engagement text to our decodable Pat's mess. Materials. For today, you won't need any additional materials. You will just need your thinking caps. Here we go. We have two learning targets today. I can read high frequency words and words that don't play fair and I can read the decodable text, Pat's Mess. Now it's time to learn high frequency words together. It's time to learn the words readers and writers use a lot. Word work. Let's decode this first word together. Get your fingers ready. Th, e, s, this. You could use this word in a sentence such as, this is my pencil. This is a high frequency word. That means it is a word you will see a lot when you are reading and you, that you will use a lot when you are writing. The word this is a high frequency word that plays fair because we can easily decode it or tap out the sounds we see. Th, I, S, this. When we take a peek at our second word, you might know that it is the word the. The word the is a high frequency word that doesn't quite play fair. The first part of the word, the TH, says th, just like the word this. But that E, it doesn't make the normal short E sound. Instead, it says a. Uh. So the word the doesn't follow the rules. We can use the part of the word we know, the TH, the th, to get us started. And that's a strategy you might use as you are working to read high frequency words that don't play fair. Here is a reminder of our high frequency words in Pat's mess. The high frequency words that play fair are a, this, can, and an. But there are also three that don't play fair, is, has, and the. Read aloud. We are going to read through our decodable book again. Remember, there are words in this book that you can read. There are words that you can decode, and there are also high frequency words. Some play fair and some don't, but we can figure them out. Here we go. This is Pat. The pan is a hat. The hat is on the cat. Two hats. Pat can tap. Pat has an ant. Pat naps. 
we are now going to read through our decodable book a second time. And this time, we are going to be on the lookout for high frequency words and also words that have the short vowel A sound, the A ah sound. So when you hear or see a word with a short vowel A, the A ah sound, go ahead and touch your nose. You can also keep a lookout for those high frequency words. Let's go. This is pet. Did you hear a word with a short vowel A? Mm-hmm, it is pat. The pan is a hat. What's that? You heard two words with the short vowel A? You're right, pan and hat. The hat is on the cat. Two hats. There are so many high frequency words on that page. Did you also hear words with a short vowel A? Mm-hmm. Hat, cat, and hats. Great work. Pat can tap. I heard some also. Pat has a short vowel A and so does tap. Pat has an ant. Did you hear any words with that short vowel A, the A ah sound? Mm-hmm. Pat and ant. And finally, our last page, pat naps. There are no high frequency words here, but did you hear any words with that ah sound? Mm-hmm, pat and naps. Fantastic reading. Closing reflection. Let's spend some time reflecting on our reading. What did you do today that is helping you to become a more proficient reader? Wow, we had a great week of learning. Keep it up learners and I'll see you next time. I can't wait to see you here again next time. All right. So we talked about some high frequency words and your work today in your packet for Monday, you're gonna see a sheet that looks like this. It has some high frequency words on there. These words are is, to, the, and, at, for, and was. Your job on this page you are going to, with a finger space, you're going to write the word is on that line until you get to the end. So you're gonna do finger space, write the word is. Finger space, write the word. Finger space, write the word. Do this very neatly, okay? Then you're gonna do the same thing for two. You're gonna do finger space, then write the word two. Finger space, write the word two, okay? All the way to the end of the line. Do the same thing with the, and, at, for, and was. Neatly with finger spaces. Write those high frequency words. The next thing you're going to do on the next page for Monday, you're gonna choose three of these words. You get to pick whichever words you want to use, choose three of them, and you're gonna write sentences with those three words. So if you choose the word for, you might write a sentence like, um, I have a gift for you. That could be your sentence. Um, so make sure that you are using capital letters and punctuation in your sentences. Also use the finger space and neat handwriting. Some of us are still writing pretty sloppy. 
So make sure you're using your best handwriting. So if I use this word for in a sentence, am I done? Nope, that's only one sentence, one word. I have to choose two more words. So I'm gonna look at my page and I'm gonna choose another word, write another sentence, then choose a third word and write another sentence, okay? Th choose three words, write three sentences. And that's your skills work for today. Thanks guys, see you later.